Hi and welcome. I'm Steve Pollitt. My question is, what is your health score? And I don't mean, how does your doctor rate you? You know, for example, what is your uh, cholesterol levels? What is your blood pressure? What is your weight in comparison to your ideal weight? And all those types of things and so forth. My question is, on a scale of 1 to 10, how do you rate yourself? How do you score your own health? Now, some of you may be saying, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm at an 8 or a 9. And so I can turn off this video. I would encourage you not to do that. It's not going to be very long. It's going to be very valuable information for you. Now, let's say you're on the lower end of the scale, a 1 or a 2. If you're a 1 or a 2, you're probably not watching this video. You're probably under the care of a doctor in a hospital, and you have some very serious issues. So most people fall in the range of three or four. Why three or four? Because most people are tired. It's the number one complaint that people have. They're tired. They don't have the energy to enjoy themselves throughout the day. Now, it doesn't really matter whether you consider yourself a four or five or a six. It is really important to pay very close attention to this if you think you are rated much, high, much higher. Because if you're lower, you want to get higher, and if you're higher, you want to stay that way. So what's the point? The point is, if someone, let's use someone who is really healthy. Let's say they're, they're an athlete. Um, could be an elite athlete, could be someone who simply works out, takes really good care of themselves, eats and drinks healthy, and so on and so forth. And they say, I'm healthy. And I say, how do you know? And they said, well, I feel healthy. This is what all the things that I do. I said, okay, very good. Did you know that 74% of our body, uh, we can't see, we can't evaluate, we can't measure? So all the things that are ultimately that go wrong with us develop at some point in time and emerge as a symptom. Just this week, I learned of a guy that I played hockey with when I was a young man. And he was doing well one day, and he was gone the next. There's a radio show host on the Country and Western Music Station in Tampa who is 54 years old. On the radio one day, gone the next. Both these people, from what I can tell, felt really good. Have you ever met anybody that, like that? Or do you know anybody like that? Or you've heard of anybody like that? So how we feel is not necessarily a good measurement for what's really going on inside. Now, if we're tired, if we're run down, if we're having experiencing um, trouble dealing with stress, yes, then we know we have to do something. We have to do something. Now, all these conditions, there's a four-part formula for achieving optimal health. And the first part of that formula is eating and drinking healthy. Now, do you know anyone who eats and drinks healthy 100% of the time? I know some people who say they do, and then when you're around them for any length of time, they say, well, yeah, my favorite ice cream is this, or I've got a great weakness for cake. And so you know. Now, am I critical of that? No, I'm not. I'm just saying, if you pay really close attention, I don't know anybody like that that has what would be considered a perfect diet of what they eat and drink. Just this week, I found it fascinating. A, do a famous doctor, that, whose name I'm not going to mention, that many people know of, came out with a new book, and it talked about that everything can be traced to what we eat and drink. And let me tell you something. I think a good portion of what he is saying is true, but there's a big missing link. Big missing link. The biggest missing link is if I had the perfect diet of what I eat and drink, guess what? I'm still exposed to toxins and chemicals in my environment. We all are. Just go into a car, drive down the highway, guess what you're exposed to? Toxins and chemicals. Anytime you have to drink a glass of tap water, you're exposed to toxins and chemicals. The, Tampa, the, the water system in Tampa Bay uh, tests for 52 uh, chemicals and toxins. And there may be 2,500 chemicals and toxins in our water supply. Those are some of the numbers that I'm hearing. Don't take this as total fact-based, but those are the numbers that I'm given. Research itself. The point is, we're exposed to it. What about stress? 
I don't know about you, but do you know anyone that doesn't experience any stress? I got to tell you, most people are experiencing more and more stress. P particularly now, when we turn on the news, turn on the internet, see all the debates and challenges that are going on with the economic environment, the world environment, the political environment. I mean, come on. It's not fun. Now, do you want to tune all that out? You can. Is that realistic? Not for me, because I have an opinion on things. And when I have an opinion, then there's people who have opposite points of view. And now we get into the area of, is that a, is that a rational debate? And that's my biggest challenge, having a rational debate with anybody with an opposite point of view. I appreciate opposite points of view, but I can't get into a rational debate. That's one of the big problems. So, stress. Uh, toxins and chemicals, which I mentioned. Signals. Oh my gosh, electronic signals from Wi-Fi, cell phones, smart boxes. We are bombarded with it. Guess what? All of these things affect our blood flow in the 74% of our body, which is called the microvessel system and the capillary system, and we can't measure that. The closest we can come to measuring that is doing a before and after test with a live blood analysis. In my market, there's a lady that I work with. She's got the medical device in her office that we represent. She does a forced blood sample, get on the system for eight minutes, does an after the blood sample, and you can see, you can start getting an idea of what's going on in your blood cells from doing that. Very fascinating. But most people are not even aware of it. There may be 1% of the population in the world that goes through those kinds of tests. I wasn't aware of it at all until 10 months ago. And I've been around here longer, much longer than, say, 10 years, let me tell you, as you could probably tell. So if you feel that you're healthy, that doesn't mean that you know what's going on in the 74%. This is exactly why I'm so passionate about you paying very close attention to the medical device that I represent because that addresses the blood circulation in the entire body. And when you combine that with health and nutrition, stress management, using the resources you choose that will help you manage your life and your emotional status much more effectively, much more energetically, much more peacefully and calmly and rationally. And you combine all those things and you add to it a, a program of movement, of exercise for you that's sustainable. And everything that I talk about, I advise people it has to be sustainable. People that go on diets to lose weight for, say, 20, 30, 40 pounds or more, okay? And I see what they're doing. Great goal. But guess what? It's not sustainable. You have to have a program that's sustainable long term. You have to change your lifestyle if you, if you want to avoid going back into what caused you to be in the current state in the first place. So no, it's not just the medical device. But guess what? The medical device is a big part of this. It's a big part of this because it's the missing link. People don't know about it, and they think they're doing all these other things, which is great, because a lot of people are not even doing those. But when you combine those things of healthy eating and drinking, exercise, stress management, using resources and techniques such as yoga, meditation, and whatever, journaling, whatever works for you. You combine all of that with the medical device. Now, now what we're talking about is something really powerful. And I'm pretty sure that if you were on this entire program, that when you went into your medical doctor for an exam, or your eye doctor, or your ear doctor, whatever the case might be, they were going to say, what are you doing? And they say, and you say, well, what do you mean? Say, well, everything's so much better. That's what I'm hearing all the time. And that's what I want for you. My name is Steve Pollitt, stevepollitt at gmail.com. Text me, 727-224-4743. I'd love to give you more information. I'd love to help you. I'd love you to get as excited about this as I am. Work with me on my team. I'm going to show you some amazing things, amazing possibilities for your health and for your wallet. Till the next time, be well, be ha happy, be at peace.